welcome to or welcome back to Zombie Girls Coloring and Crafts. Today I'm going to do a flip through of my completed book of Chibi Girls Grayscale 2 and 1 by Jade Summer. This book I've had for a while so I started this book in September um, of 2020 and I finished it in October of 2022 so just over two years. I will say there are some pages in here that either were um, affected by uh, yellowing alcohol markers. This was when I was first beginning my very first book that I was using alcohol markers in. Didn't know what I was doing. Um, and there's a couple pages that I really just didn't like, so I just kind of finished them just to have the book completed. Um, but I will talk about that when I get to them. Alright, so this page here, I really didn't love. I did this page in 2021 of November, but I did the fairy and then I just didn't know what to do with the background. I was scared off so I stopped and didn't color it for a very long time but I did get it done I think it looks okay it's not the best but it's also not the worst that I've done so this um page was a buddy color with Stacy from for King Mountain Color I do really love the purple and the yellow together it's kind of become one of my combinations that I've been going to lately this one here was one of the first pages I colored in this book. Um, so my favorite color is purple and my fiance's favorite color is green. So I decided to color them, these people, in our favorite colors. The background, I really shouldn't have gone with a bright orange. I should have done with like a, a beige or something. But like I said, this was when I was very first starting. And I did have some, I think these are my Chromatech glitter gel pens up in the corner here. Hopefully you can see that. Now this is a page that I was talking about. So this page here got affected by the yellowing markers that I used on the previous page. So her whole face is like almost an orange. She has these random little spots as well, like on her dress and her bow. But I still colored it because I wanted to get this whole book done. I was really upset. I didn't know about yellowing markers at that point. So that's why it's very important to know your alcohol markers before you use them. This page here. I really loved the steampunk girl. I think it'd be really cool if they came out with like a, a chibi steampunk coloring book. I think it would probably sell really well. I think it'd be super fun to color as well. This was another one affected by yellowing markers, unfortunately. Um, hopefully, I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but it's up in the birds, down on the clouds. I believe it was from, the, yeah, it's from the page before. So. I know yellowing mostly goes through the page behind it, but it can actually affect the page in front of it as well. So this is the page that happened with. Um, so it happened to be this brown color, the orange and the red that were the culprits. Um, and the alcohol markers really weren't great. They were like a, a line on alcohol marker, so I do not suggest them. Um, I had them to start with and then I instantly bought my Ohuhu's as soon as they went on sale. So this one was really badly affected. That's why I went for darker colors to try and not make it obvious. So her helmet, her whole body basically, and a bunch of the background was affected. So like I said, I went for darker colors. This one here was a buddy color with Cindy Peel over on uh, Instagram. So I did a lot of buddy, different buddy colors in this book here. So this one here was a buddy color with Misty from Color Country Gals Coloring Place. Very fitting for the picture. This one here, um, I accidentally messed up her tail. Like I said, still learning. This was like a beginning-ish of my coloring journey. I grabbed one color, didn't like it, so I went over it and it made this brown. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but I wouldn't sit. I don't necessarily like it either. This one here was a buddy color with Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. And this one was a buddy color with Lisa from Lisa's Coloring Corner. And I absolutely loved how my treasure chest came out. I used only gel. Um, I think I used maybe my Jelly Roll Stardust. 
yeah, I think it was my Jelly Roll Stardust uh, mark or sorry gel pens, and then I also used a white um, Jelly Roll. This one was another Buddy Color with Kathy. I wish I went with a little bit of a darker background, but I also didn't want the chair and the background to blend into each other. And again, I think I used, yeah, probably the Chromatech. No, no. These were jelly rolls for sure. For her, her um, headdress and the little beads on the end of her hair. This was another buddy color with Misty from Country Gals Coloring Place. This was a buddy color with Stacy for Forking Your Color. I really love how her dress turned out here. Really like this green color. I believe it was a um, Artist Loft marker that I used. This is when I was first learning alcohol markers. I think this was one, either the first or the second page I did with the Ohuhu markers when I got them in. So I was still learning how to make sure that I made one solid blend. This was one of those pages that I didn't really care for, so I didn't, I just kind of minimalistically colored it, not uh, colored in every detail. This one here, my marker started dying on me on my background. This one here, so my fiance used to play football, so I decided to do um, a cheerleader in his colors that he used to play for. So they were green and gold, and I think she turned out really cute. This one here was a buddy color with Nikki and Niagara, and I absolutely love how she turned out. I was really scared to actually do this picture, but as as soon as it was done, I actually really, really enjoyed it. So I used, I believe, the Chromatech for her earrings and her headdress, along with her little sash. So this one here is another page that I did with those um, line-on alcohol markers, and it really affected the page behind it. So I will tell you, I absolutely hate the page behind it, but it's done and it's colored. <laughs> so this cute little bunny, our magician with bunnies. Yeah, so this one here was almost everything was yellow so I just decided to color her in and really not focus on the background just color it and be done with it really hate how it turned out don't like it at all this one here was very intimidating to me um, so what I did was I just colored the whole grass green like the whole background and then I colored over top of the flowers just because to color around each one of those flowers would have taken forever um, not super happy with the turnout, but I do love her hair and her eye combo. This one here was a buddy color with Tam or, sorry, Tammy's Color Haven. So unfortunately, I was really struggling for blues at this point. A lot of my blue markers were dying, so I worked with what I had. Um... Love the schoolgirl, not so much the background, but you don't love every page that you color. I think this was the first page I might have done with those markers, and I love how it turned out. Maybe I would have gone a little lighter on the wall, but like I absolutely love her dress. I love how she looks. Yeah, I was very happy with this page. This one here was a buddy color with Stacy for freaking your color again again didn't really like this page so I just decided I'm gonna do one color for her outfit make her hair the same color and then do the opposite doesn't look the best but at least it's a colored page in my book same with this one another buddy color with Stacy um, I wanted to make them kind of like sisters so they like to match for colors not necessarily the exact same background is atrocious I'm sorry but another page done this one was a buddy color with Nikki and Niagara again and I really enjoyed doing this page um, I loved how the red and the gold ended up and I think it looks really 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 done 
like well done. And then this one here I really enjoyed doing as well, especially with outlining all of the ice with the white jelly rolls. Something new that I've tried and I actually really enjoyed it. This one here I did for like a Halloween theme. So they're, you know, kind of like a potion drink. She's wearing her orange and purple because I associate like orange, purples, and greens with Halloween. So it was kind of like decorated for like a Halloween party. This one was another one of the bad markers. Um, didn't love how it turned out. We really ruined this page, so I decided to try kind of going like with an avatar look and making her blue. Uh, this was another buddy color with Misty from Country Girls Coloring Place. I did accidentally forget to put my blotter page. Thankfully, I remembered after I started. Like, just I only did the one spot. This one here, I really wanted to go with a non-traditional um, fire suit, and I really like how it came out. This one was a buddy color with Jay Pudding. And this one was a buddy color with Kathy from Spice Cat Colors. This was another buddy color with Nikki and Niagara. Again, I didn't want to do the stereotypical made outfit of black and white, so I went with this um, pink on pink, and I actually really like how it turned out. This was another buddy color with Kathy, and I used my Jelly Roll like um, neons up here, and I really like how it like kind of brightens the beam of the light. This was a buddy color with Steph. And this was another buddy color with Steph. This was a buddy color with Happy Colors. I had a lot of fun with this one. I really loved the hair color. Again, background not my greatest choice, but I do really love the hair in their outfits. This was a buddy color with Tammy's Color Haven. This was a buddy color with Kathy. Again, this is another page. I absolutely hated it. Didn't know what I wanted to do with it. So I went with a yellow dress. Probably not the best choice, but I think it worked out. And this one is a buddy color with happy colors. I did really enjoy doing this one when we had done it. This was a color that I tried with my new markers. These were the JHF art markers. Um, unfortunately, I don't believe they sell them on Amazon anymore. But I did really love how they laid down on the page. This is the last page. All right. Yeah, so like I said, there's a lot of uh, pages in here that I didn't love, but I wanted to kind of stick it through and just get the book done so it was completely colored. I didn't want to leave like five pages left undone. Um, some of my coloring has changed from two, two to three years ago versus now. So definitely looking back, there was a lot of things that I probably would have changed with this book. I am debating on buying the 4-in-1 just because I do love their chibi series and I hope that they bring out some more. But I do hope that you enjoyed that flip through and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!